It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I can't play because... Oh, you but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> What's up guys, Johnny here and today we're back with episode, I think it's 9 of Stanley Parable. Now the last episode I said, I'm going to give up, I'm done, it's over, this game is over, I'm over this game, but no. I actually got this message from Shaskor, which if you don't know him, he's the one who created the intro and the outro of our channel, he's part of the staff. He kind of reviews our videos and stuff and it's with us, a shout out to Shaskor, nice dude. Uh, well, he basically was telling me that I had forgotten two very important All of his co-workers were gone. To do my what intro. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting oh, room. Perhaps he had simply missed a okay, memo. Okay, awesome. We've done this like a couple of times now. He told me that I should do a couple of stuff. First, he told me that I should say face punch on the keyboard if I got bored. But I don't know what that does. Face punch. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh no! Shasko, what have you done to me, man? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What is this? Oh no! Shasko, why did you why did you make me do this? You should have given me a warning, jump scare warning. Oh, how do I turn it back now? Uh face up. Oh. oh wow Okay Let's do this Can I open this? I can't open this door Okay, let's see uh, face punch Okay, nothing happened nothing new it's basically just the same, only it looks kind of creepy and disturbing. Okay, yes. Back to normal. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way okay. to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes. Truly a okay. room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour room. after all. Just to spend a f but eager to get back to business, okay. Stanley took the first yeah. open we door on his left. Room, like in that room for a couple of uh, minutes in the last episodes, and uh, he said quite a lot of stuff actually. Stanley was so bad at following directions, okay, close, it's yeah, incredible close, he wasn't five years ago. I can't open this. Okay. He told me that I should jump here. So I don't die. Let's try that. If I fail miserably. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've if gotten we, off I on the wrong foot here. I will I'm not your again. enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Okay. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to yes. you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. No, I already know what you're going to do. I don't trust you. I don't like you. And it's over. Our relationship is over. This is over. I'm breaking up with you, narrator. I'm breaking up. That sounded kind of gay. I'm not gay. But I'm breaking up with him, though. Is there something else I can do? I need to make sure. Oh, my God. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Right, this the right way. Okay, wait. I remember making this mistake in uh, the first episode. Maybe I should do SSS. Or maybe not. Let's not do SSS. Let's just... Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No!
We're not. Oh, I still Jesus. don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Jump scare? Don't jump scare me. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Well meant to be. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Space. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Oh. Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Oh, yes. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, yes. This is awesome. Thank you, narrator. I like content. This is... Oh, wait. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third because door? Because I'm taking Well, everything. it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. No, it's not. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You don't soul. harassle. I disagree with you. you. I disagree with you. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh, Jesus. Previous playthrough. Doors attempt. Doors closed. Are these real people right here? What? What? This can't be possible. Why am I the last person? No, this is trolling. You're trolling me. I can't be the last person on this list. I've been even playing more time than him. Why? Why? Okay, so we go in here again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No. Again, no. honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Okay. Amazing. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. What? So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? But be sure to keep notes on your experience. I... No. Ah, oh, Jesus! Why does it make that noise? No, it's so annoying. I'm gonna let the kid die. I can't let the kid die. No. Okay, I'm gonna let him die. He, th that noise is annoying the hell out of me. You heartless bastard. Oh, well, did you from do you? it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out, I'm done. 
it's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. You're breaking the fourth wall. Oh, Jesus. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? It can't be if I can't break well, the blocks. I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic oh, purpose. Oh, face punch. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where is he? Mm, I can't this see This will go here. No, here. And then... Where is he? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I can't play because... Ah, you but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? Okay, are you serious? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. What? Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Are you serious with me now? You're literally gonna play Minecraft with me? What is this? <laughs> Do I have to censor that? Yeah, I'm gonna censor that. That was not good. And how did I jump? I can't jump. I legit can't jump. I can't take fall damage. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? We are playing Minecraft. We are legit playing Minecraft. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. We are legit okay, playing Minecraft. What is this? Hmm. Should I end the episode here? Should I do it? Should I end the episode here? I'm ending the episode here. Peace out. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Peace out.